What is a black hole? Can time move backward? Where did the universe come from? Have you ever thought about questions like this? There was one man who didn't just think about them. He dedicated his life to solving them. A man who couldn't move, but he moved the entire world with the power of his mind. His name was Stephen Hawking and this is his story. Stephen was born on January 8, 1942 in Oxford, England, exactly 300 years after the death of Galileo Galilei. His family was full of thinkers. His father was a doctor, his mother a brilliant free-spirited woman. Stephen wasn't the top student in class. In fact, his handwriting was terrible and the teachers sometimes thought that he was lazy. But there was something about him, a sparkle of curiosity. He loved science. He wanted to understand how the world worked. At the age 17, he joined Oxford University to study physics. He was known to be a quiet, a bit shy, but extremely intelligent. Stephen loved to ask big questions. After Oxford, he went to Cambridge University to research cosmology, the study of the universe. But during this time, something strange began to happen. He would trip while walking, his speed started to slur, his hands couldn't hold things the way they used to do. Stephen was just 21 years old when the doctors gave him news that would change everything. Stephen was diagnosed with a rare disease called motor neuron disease, also known as the ALS. The doctors told him that he had just two years to live. At first, Stephen was devastated. He stopped working, he avoided people. He thought, what's the point of anything if he is going to die soon? But then, something beautiful happened. He met a kind, strong-hearted woman named Jane Wilde. She believed in him, she encouraged him and slowly Stephen found a reason to live again. They got married in 1965 and Stephen said something unforgettable. Although there was a cloud hanging over my future, I found I was enjoying life in the present more than before. As his body grew weaker, Stephen's mind grew stronger. He began using his imagination like a superpower. He visualized the universe without needing to write it down. He started working on black holes, those mysterious invisible regions in space. Most scientists believe that nothing could escape a black hole. But Stephen said, what if something could? And guess what? He proved it. He discovered that black holes can actually emit energy, a glow now called as Hawking radiation. It was a mind-blowing discovery. Stephen had done something incredible. He gave the world a new way to look at the universe. In 1985, Stephen became very sick with pneumonia. Doctors had to perform a surgery that saved his life. But it took away his voice forever. He could no longer speak. But Stephen didn't stop. Technology came to the rescue. He got a special computer system that let him speak using a machine, one word at a time, by moving just one cheek muzzle. It was slow, but Stephen was patient. He used this voice to lecture, to joke and even to write. And what he wrote next would change the world. In 1988, Stephen Hawking published a book called A Brief History of Time. The book talked about the Big Bang, black holes and time travel. It became a worldwide bestseller, selling millions of copies. And for the first time, people who had never studied science began to understand and love it. Stephen had done the impossible. He made science cool. Stephen Hawking became one of the most famous scientists in the world. 
He gave lectures in front of thousands. He appeared on TV shows like The Simpsons and Star Trek. He even did a voice cameo with the music band Pink Floyd. Despite being in a wheelchair, despite needing help with every small movement, he lived a life full of adventure and humor. He once said, However difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. Stephen continued to work, write and dream until his final days. He explored ideas about the multiverse, time travel and the future of humanity. He once took a ride in the zero gravity plane floating like an astronaut with a big smile on his face. Stephen Hawking passed away on March 14, 2018, the same date as Albert Einstein's birth. As if the universe was saying, thank you Stephen. Today, Stephen Hawking is remembered not just for his science, but for his courage, his hope and his never give up spirit. He proved that even when the body is weak, the mind can still shine brighter than the star. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember Stephen, the boy who couldn't walk, the man who couldn't speak, but the mind that made the universe speak to us all. I hope you like the story of a man who turned silence into strength and dreams into discovery. For more such inspiring stories, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay curious, keep reading and always believe in the power of your mind. Signing off, Page Spills by Lee. See you next time.